As that conflict continues in the Middle East, Lubbock veterans are remembering one of the deadliest attacks in that region. On its 40th anniversary, the Lubbock VFW honored the sacrifice of the 241 Americans who died in the Beirut bombing. KCBD News Channel 11's Brittany Crittenden was at the remembrance ceremony and heard from veterans about why they chose to serve no matter what the cost. He said, Despite the rain, Lubbock veterans honored those who paid the ultimate sacrifice 40 years ago. So they, they were there just in a, as a peaceful force every now and then, you know, those people who don't love freedom, uh, who want to find a way to hurt it. They came in peace, the phrase that became associated with the 220 Marines, 18 sailors, and three soldiers who were killed 40 years ago in Beirut, Lebanon. They were part of a multinational peacekeeping force. On October 23, 1983, a suicide bomber drove a truck into American military barracks at Beirut International Airport. We don't want their memory to fade away like any other veteran living or passed on or killed in action. We don't want them to ever be forgotten. It marks the deadliest day for Marines since the Battle of Iwo Jima in World War II. Marine Steve Oyen served in Vietnam in the late 60s until he was injured. He enlisted with his friend, who was still in the Marine Corps in 1983 and was in downtown Beirut when the attack occurred. And he said they heard the explosion and the whole city shook. And they saw the mushroom cloud going up and of course they returned uh, right away. And what he saw uh, was beyond description. The bombing was traced to the militant political group Hezbollah, which the U.S. has designated as a terrorist organization. Marine and Chief of Staff for the Lubbock VFW, Benny Guerrero, says those who serve enlist to protect the Constitution and the freedoms it provides. Someone said, why does America go out and serve across the battle, across the world? Why doesn't America mind its own business? Well, I'm here to tell you that those of us who have absolutely served on a battlefield, we don't want that to come to your house. Meanwhile, today, the U.S. is sending warships to the eastern Mediterranean, a perceived warning to Iran and Hezbollah not to open fighting on new borders. A lot of people, including me, are praying that that uh, uh, doesn't go beyond the two uh, nations that are involved. Brittany Crittenden, KCBD News Channel 11.